Hi there. Now in this video I want to continue working with the vector cross product, triple scalar product and show you how we can use these results for vectors to find the volume of a pyramid. In this case a tetrahedron and also I'll be looking at a square based or rectangular based pyramid. So how do we use these results? Well you should be familiar with the volume of any general pyramid. It's equal to a third the area of the base times the perpendicular height. So if we start with the tetrahedron, the triangular base pyramid, then suppose we have three vectors coming from a common vertex. Let's say it's this one here. Marking in those vectors, we'll call the one up the slant edge A, and then the two on the edges of the base B and C. So the perpendicular height for the tetrahedron, we'll call it H. And the angle that it makes with this edge here, we'll call theta. Now, using these vectors, we can find the volume of a tetrahedron. Let's just write it in here, volume of a tetrahedron. And being a third the area of the base, let's just put a third here. The base is a triangle. And I showed you earlier when we were doing the cross product, the vector cross product, that the area of a triangle can be given by the formula a half of the two vectors crossed together. Their modulus, that is B crossed with C. If you're unsure of this, as I say, do check out my earlier videos on this. So that's one third the area of the base, the base being a triangle. And then we've got to multiply it by this height here, H. And from the trigonometry of this right angle triangle, we can see that the cosine of angle theta must be equal to the adjacent sine, which will be h, divided by the hypotenuse, which will be the magnitude of the vector a. So we just put there, that's the magnitude of the vector a. So rearranging this for the height h, then we're going to get h equals the magnitude of a cosine theta. So we just need to multiply this with the magnitude of the vector a times the cosine of that included angle theta. Now this could come out negative. So in order to make it a positive value, let's just put a modulus sign outside this. Okay. So what have we got when this is cleaned up? Well, this is going to be equal to the magnitude. Okay, let's just put that in there of one sixth times. And what we've got here is the scalar product of two vectors, the vector A with the vector B crossed with C. So in other words, this is one sixth A dotted with B crossed with C, the triple scalar product. So a nice quick way then to work out the volume of a tetrahedron. And I'll do a numerical example on this in the next video if you'd like to have a go at it. But for now, let's just move on to the next pyramid that we've got, which could be a square base pyramid or a rectangular base pyramid. It's still going to be much the same idea. To work out the volume, let's just put an intro here, the volume of a square, or it could be, as I say, a rectangular base pyramid. So we'll just put that in there, a rectangular pyramid. Then it's obviously got to be the same idea as what we've got here, third the area of the base times the perpendicular height. But if we put the vectors in coming from the common vertex here, then that height will be marked in as such like this, just the same as what we had here. 
But when it comes to working out the area of the base, it's going to be just simply B crossed with C for a rectangle or a square, as I showed you in an earlier tutorial. So what we've got now is very much the same as what we had up here. It's just going to be equal to a third, the area of the base, which is the magnitude of the cross product between the vectors B and C. And then that is multiplied by the height here, which we've seen is the magnitude of A times the cosine of that included angle theta. And again, this could be positive or negative, so we need a positive result, so we'll put a magnitude sign down there. And again, what we've got here is the triple scalar product between the vectors A, B and C. So we end up with this being the magnitude of a third, and then we've got the triple scalar product A dotted with B crossed with C. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea then how you can go about working out the volume of a tetrahedron or a rectangular square base pyramid using the triple scalar product.